Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about solving systems of equations by graphing. You can get the worksheet we use in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. The first problem in our solving systems of equations by graphing worksheet gives us y equals 2x minus 3 and then y equals negative 3x plus 2. We're looking for the solution of these two equations and the system that they make. What that means is we are looking for the point of intersection of the two equations. So for example, this isn't the answer, but for example, if we had our graph here and we had one equation that went this way and the other equation that when you graphed it went like this, the solution to that equation would be the point of intersection. It's the point that satisfies both equations, which would be the point that the two equations cross. So in order to solve systems of equations by graphing, you have to graph both equations, and then you have to find the point of intersection on the graph, and then that coordinate will be your answer. In order to find the point of intersection, we have to first graph both equations. These equations are written in slope-intercept form, which means you can use the slope and you can use the y-intercept to graph them. So in the case of the first one, we know that slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. We know m is the slope because it's always with the x, and we know that b is the y-intercept. So in the case of this equation, m, which is the slope, is 2, and then b, which is the y-intercept, is negative 3. And we're going to graph this equation in red. We have the y-intercept of negative 3 and the slope of 2, so we will go down to negative 3 for the y-intercept, which is right here. And then we will follow the slope, which is 2, or the rise over the run, which is 2 over 1. So you go up 2 and then over 1. So we'll start at our y-intercept, and we'll go up 2, over 1. And we'll go up 2, over 1. And so on. Then we have to do the same thing for y equals negative 3x plus 2. We have to find the slope and the y-intercept and then graph it. In this case, the slope is negative 3 and then the y-intercept is positive 2. So we're going to start our y-intercept, which is 2. So we go up to 2. And then we're going to graph our, with our slope, which is negative 3. So negative 3 over 1 or down 3 and then over 1. So we'll start at our point, we'll go down 1, 2, 3, over 1. Down 1, 2, 3, over 1. And we'll graph. Then once we have a couple points, we can go ahead and connect them. So this is our second equation, which is in blue. Now the solution to our system here is going to be the point of intersection, which is right here. It's the only point that would be true for both equations or that would satisfy the system. So this point here is x is 1, y is negative 1. So our solution to the system of equations is x equals 1 and y equals negative 1 and then in coordinates it would be 1, negative 1 and that's the solution. Number three on the solving systems by graphing worksheet gives us our system, which in this case is y equals 4x plus 3, and the second equation is y equals negative x minus 2. So we have to do the same thing we did in the other problem. We're going to go ahead and we're going to find the slope and the y-intercept for each equation. So the slope for y equals 4x plus 3 is 4, and then the y-intercept is positive 3. And then for the second equation, we have y equals negative x minus 2. So our slope is, even though it's negative x, what that's like saying is that it's actually like saying negative 1x. So it's not written, but there is a 1 right there. So that's really negative 1x, and then our y-intercept is negative 2. So we're going to go ahead and graph these. I'm going to graph the first one in red. So our y-intercept for the first one is 3, so we will go to our y-axis and we'll plot 3. And then the slope is 4, so we will go up 4 and then over 1. So we'll go up 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1 would be right here. 
You could also go backwards. We'll go down one, two, three, four, and then this way. So you can go in the negative direction. And then you can go ahead and graph that equation, or draw our line, I should say. Then we're going to do the same thing for the blue equation, which is y equals negative x minus 2. So we'll start at negative 2, which is right here. Our slope is negative 1x. So we will go down 1 this time, and then over 1. So we're going to go down 1, over 1. Down 1, over 1. So we'll go in this direction. And then you can always go backwards. You go up and left instead of down and right. We'll go this way. And then once we have our points plotted, we can go ahead and draw our line. And then once again, in order to solve systems of equations by graphing, you have to find the point of intersection between the equations. And our point of intersection is right there. So it's the spot where the two lines cross. In this case, that would be negative 1, negative 1. So x is negative 1, y is negative 1. So the solution x would be negative 1, y would be negative 1, and in the terms of coordinates, the solution would be negative 1, negative 1. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.